Hi guys, I'm Tim Schantz, Certified Athletic Therapist at Morden Physiotherapy. And we're here with your six month Total Body Tune Up, a video series designed to give you exercise tips well into 2015. The pull up is probably the quintessential upper body exercise that most people hate. But there's a few improvements that we can make to make sure that you're doing it more efficiently. The first thing is the movement of the pull up that you're visualizing. In the pull up, there's two movements. The first one is my bicep pulling my wrist down to my shoulder. And the second movement is my lat pulling my elbow down into my side. Most people concentrate on the bicep portion of the movement. We want you to concentrate and visualize on your lat, a much stronger muscle, pulling your elbow into your side. The simplest progression of the pull-up is the inverted pull-up where my feet are planted on the ground, distributing some of my body weight into my feet and off of my upper body. So I've got a bar and with my knees bent to reduce the distance from my upper body to my lower body, keeping my core tight, pulling my shoulders up to the bar. I can make the inverted pull-up a little bit more difficult by extending my feet and changing that distance from my upper body to my lower body. Again, pulling my body straight up to the bar. Once you've mastered the inverted pull-up, it's time to make your way to the chin-up bar. Most people initially are not strong enough to pull themselves directly up, so we can again, just like the push-up, add an eccentric component where we're only lowering ourselves down. I can use my feet to help myself jump up to the top of the movement and drop myself down slowly. A common question from clients is why is a wide grip pull-up so much more difficult than a narrow grip pull-up? And the answer is physics. Gravity is a vertical force. So when I'm doing a narrow pull-up, I'm pulling directly against gravity. As soon as I move my arms out wide, I create an angle against gravity and my force vector or my direction of pull is now at an angle to gravity, meaning I can exert less force. The inverted pull-up can also be done using suspension trainers or TRXs. No matter what progression you're doing, make sure to visualize bringing your elbow into your side to make sure that you're moving efficiently. As with any exercise program, technique is really important and you should not have any pain while doing these exercises. Consult a personal trainer if you do have any questions. Thanks for tuning in to the six month total body tune up.